everyone and welcome to Missouri Grown Carolina Home. I'm Katie if you are new and welcome to another weekly grocery haul. Today I did Walmart pickup and we will also have an Aldi haul for you. So I'm going to just go ahead and show you what we got from Walmart first. So what we got is some more toothbrushes. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that's for me or your mom. That's for you, buddy. Okay, so starting over here, Callie had asked for French toast sticks, so I got her those. I've been trying to get her specific donuts for like the last two or three weeks, the maple ones, and every time they tell me they're out. So this time I got sprinkled ones, and they told me they were out, so they gave me these. And they're like half flipped upside down, and I'm not real thrilled with this, because this isn't even what they told me they gave me. I probably wouldn't have accepted that, because I don't know if Callie's going to eat all those, so... Anyway, it is what it is. I'm, that's one thing I'm not real thrilled about, but everything else turned out well. <clears throat> or whatever. Anyways. Uh, orange juice. Brian says that the Walmart Great Value is his favorite, so I got him that. I got Callie some of these cheese dip breadstick snacks. Um, those are my favorite. <laughs> those are good. We got some vanilla ice cream. We are going to be having a pizza party night. <laughs> <laughs> and we are going to be making um, some. Sorry, guys, but we have. I'm, I'm, um, I have to see what's going on. Okay, you go see what's going on. I don't know, like concretes, homemade concretes, and um, yeah. So I got that for that. Some yeast rolls. We're gonna try this, and I got that, and some of this cinnamon honey butter. We've heard that these taste similar to Texas Roadhouse. We're going to give it a try. And then, of course, cinnamon honey butter because that's what the Roadhouse has and it's delicious. We got um, <clears throat> I, I got some more chicken tenders, some cheese and carrots that's to make dog food with, just some veggie restock corn and green beans. We needed some spray butter. Got that. Um, I'll just go back here. I'm going to try and reorganize a closet, so I got this to put, see if I can put some of my craft stuff in the closet and get rid of some bulky furniture in our house. Uh, sometimes I feel like our house is way too cluttered and it's really driving me crazy, so I got that just to see if it'll work out. If not, I'll find another use for that. We are also going to be converting our changing table into toy storage, and I got one of these storage bins for that. Reese's uh, peanut butter cups. That'll go for the concretes tonight. We got some hot dogs. Corn on the cob. We're probably going to be grilling one night next week. We needed hot dogs for our hot dog corn. Mm -hmm. I needed to stock back up on my bacon bits. This zucchini blend. The twins and I really like that. So I got two of those. And they also really like broccoli and cheese. So I eat that with them. Uh, I wanted to try this Italian shells. It sounded really delicious. I'll probably make that with um, probably one day for lunch. I know Brian won't eat that. So I'm going to try. I think I have some ground sausage in the freezer. So I'm going to try and make that. Of course, hamburger or hot dog buns and some bread. I got some coconut oil. I <clears throat> have been getting really bad eczema. And I'm, I'm having really a hard time with my skin. So I've heard a coconut oil can help moisturize it. And it doesn't have all the junk that some moisturizers have. So I got that to try that. Um, we got some Brian's and Pickles. And Daddy. Daddy some Pickles. Mm -hmm. And I also needed these pickles. Yeah, Daddy some hamburger chip pickles. And Callie some baby dip, dill pickles. Also, Callie needed some more ranch. Got her that. Some Easter candy and the Reese's Pieces. That'll go into our concretes. Um, I normally get Reese's Fast Breaks, too, but they said they were out of those. And they tried to substitute more peanut butter cups, and I didn't need that. So I will just have Brian pick some Fast Breaks up on his way home. Reese's Pieces Easter eggs, because these are the best Reese's Pieces ever. And then some peanut butter cups. I also got some jelly beans, 
I I go through those a lot of times, so I'm real, I'm really thankful for mom. mom yeah. Yeah. You're welcome, honey. I uh, needed some paper towels, as Callie said, some toothbrushes for her. Um, some omega threes. This is supposed to help me with my PCOS. I'm really, really struggling with that. I've had it, well, my whole life. I was diagnosed when I was 18, and I've had mild symptoms, you know, they, that were problematic, but ever since having the twins, uh, that the PCOS has just, it's come back. Well, not come back. I've always had it, but the problems I'm having are, um, they're not easy to deal with. So anyways, I've been reading a lot on supplements, and this is one that will help. I have been to doctors to get help for PCOS, and they give me two options, none of which work, and, uh, you know, I guess some doctors are just not really knowledgeable with PCOS, and unfortunately, that's a shame, because a lot of women suffer with it, and, um, anyways, that's a whole long story. I needed some foaming hand soap and toothpaste, the babies needed some wash, Needed trash bags. And we needed apple, um, bird seed. Mm -hmm. Birds go through a lot of bird seed. So they we do, don't they? So we definitely brought some of that. And this is like van vanilla, I think. Sunflower? You some, see the little flowers on there? Sunflowers. Mm -hmm. We really go through um, yep. bird seed. Our birdies a lot. love the suet, so we're going to feed them that. And a plugger. And the. We need when we needed a plug in. My my plug in doesn't work that great, so we needed that. Yeah, we needed a new bathtub stopper. Um, last week, I think it was last week, I bought some um super glue to fix my paneling. It didn't work like at all. And I had someone comment and tell me to get the paneling nails. I didn't even know that was like a thing. So, although this paneling looks really thick. Compared to what my paneling is, it'll still work. I'll just have to work at it a little bit. But um, so anyway, I got that to try out. Got some more glue. Yep, we needed some stick glue for you, didn't we? Yep. And this is like teeny tiny, so I like teeny tiny min miniatures. Mm -hmm. So we got that. I had teeny tiny um, pancakes. Yeah. So yeah, you had teeny tiny pancakes for breakfast this morning, didn't you? You love teeny tiny stuff. And then bread, if we didn't say it. All of this was $142. And I will go ahead and show you Walmart, or not Walmart, Aldi next. All right, and we are here now with the Aldi portion. Um, this cost just under $120. So starting over here, we got some diapers and paper plates. Got one me one of these planners. <clears throat> um, some grapes and bananas. We all love those. We needed some potatoes. We were completely out of that. I got some mini peppers and jalapeno peppers to make um what are those things called? Jalapeno poppers out of those. And this week I tried something new with the sweet peppers. I put a little bit of cream cheese and some everything ba bagel seasoning on half of one and then put it in my air fryer just to kind of roast up the pepper and it was really good. So I'll probably do that for my lunches again. I've heard of people using that Baby Bell Swiss or whatever cheese, those laughing cow, not Baby Bell, those laughing cow cheeses. And I was going to do that, but I didn't get that this time at Aldi, maybe next time. <clears throat> so I got that. I got salad for this week. I saw this buffalo ranch. That sounds really good. I always test the uh, dressing out before I dump it on my salad. So if I don't like it, I have other dressings in the fridge I can use. And this will probably be about two lunches for me for the week. Um, some strawberries. The twins love strawberries. Brian picked up some raisins to mix with his peanuts. He's been taking that to work for snacks. I said applesauce, right? If not, applesauce. I actually, um, when I make my kids pancakes, instead of using egg, I dump applesauce in it. So I do like pancake mix, applesauce, and milk. 
and just do it to the consistency I know we like. And, you know, I'm not really a pancake fan, but there's something about it, it just, I really like it. And my kids really like it. So I've been making um, itty bitty tiny pancakes this week and Callie has been adoring it because she loves miniature anything. So it's a finger food for the babies and it's fun for Callie so she'll actually eat them. I picked up some Swiss cheese. My plan was to do French dips this week. That plan has changed. Um, I'm not exactly sure what I'll make in place of that but we have tons of food like in the fridge and freezer quick things that I can make so. Um, this will keep until probably maybe next week I can do that French dips. I got some shredded cheddar and mozzarella. Tonight we are going to have cheeseburger sliders. My brother's coming over. So I'm going to make sliders. And I picked up some fries. So I got seasoned fries and crinkle cut. Obviously we will not use both or all of those. But I do plan on having some type of fry with our cheeseburger sliders. A gallon of milk is over $3. I was not real thrilled about that. <laughs> I remember when milk was like less than a dollar. And of course, this was when Callie was a baby. So paying $3, I was like, what has happened? <laughs> but anyway, the twins need that. So hopefully a gallon will get us through the week. I might have to go back to the store for a half gallon. We'll have to, I'll have to figure that out. Callie decided to go ahead and get smoothies again. She always has a bedtime snack, so she picks smoothies, and then I got some cream cheese. This will be for um, those peppers, like I said, and um, I have also made buffalo chicken dip this past week, and I used about half a block of that, so I may make some more buffalo chicken dip. That's just really something I can throw in the fridge and have for lunches, so anyway, anything quick for mom to eat, I try, I try to do. We also picked up some butter. Got We restocked our chips. I got some tortilla chips. That is for the buffalo chicken dip if I make it. Um, this somehow ended up in our cart. I'm assuming Callie did that. <laughs> Let's see. We got original, wavy, and then Brian knows that I love this popcorn. Let me get up here. And he snuck that into the cart for me. And that's the cheese and caramel mix. It's so good. I, I'm one of those people who... You, love popcorn and I love that stuff. I got Callie some more Cheez-Its. She likes that for her bedtime snack. We got two of the peanut granola bars, peanut sweet and salty granola bars. Callie, Brian, and I really enjoy those. We eat them for snacks, we eat them for breakfast, whatever it may be. Got some more rice rusk for the babies. That keeps them occupied when they're screaming at me. And Callie asked for some gushers, so I got, went ahead and got her those. I saw these pasta side things. They kind of reminded me of, like, the Noor pasta sides, but obviously it's Aldi brand. So I got shells and white cheddar and Parmesan cheese noodles. I thought that would be a good side. I saw these mini cheese crackers. I thought Callie would like these for snacks. Um, they're probably, yeah. So, I think she'll like them. I got three dozen eggs. One is for dog food. One is for Brian's breakfast. Um, I make him breakfast burritos. Usually breakfast burritos each morning. So, that's for that. And then this would be for Callie and the twins when they want eggs in the morning. Hash browns back here. I always make Brian those for his breakfast each morning. I got a sausage pizza. Uh... Brian won't eat this, but Callie and I will eat this for lunch sometimes. So what I will do is cut it in half before I cook it. Put half of it in the freezer and then cook half of it. And that just seems to work out for our lunches some days. So I went ahead and put that in the freezer. Uh, I needed some bacon. Chicken was on sale for $1.89. So I got that for dog food this week. Um, just to put back in my pantry because I have just used my uh, pasta sauce. So... This is just to replenish that, and that we just made a cheesy crockpot lasagna again, so I needed to replace that. And then the last thing is some ketchup. I'm a little bit worried about this. This was only 99 cents, and that's, you know, a good price. The last time we had this brand, we didn't like it, which is so funny, because Brian and I, when we first got married, I'd shop at Aldi and always get their brand of ketchup, and we 
loved it, never had a problem with it. Within the last year or two, we've tried it once and hated it. <laughs> but because my Walmart brand is in the fridge and it's almost gone, I didn't want to go back to Walmart for ketchup. So we're just going to deal with it. If it's not good, I know for next time. So anyway, this, like I said, was $120. And then Walmart was $142, I believe. That is it for this week's grocery haul. I hope that you enjoyed. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you here over here on our channel and just watching our hauls. And sometimes you get guest appearances from Callie. She loves doing uh, um, hauls with me. Thank you so much for stopping by. Until next time, bye friends. Yeah.